uh, the breaking news that Jose was fired. Uh, so today we want to talk about who might be next. Back of the Sun says Nagel's the man. Spurs target, ta- target Julian as player power sees off Jose. Um, so he's the favourite to be new Spurs boss. But Ali McCoyst, earlier on in the show, Darren, I don't know if you were listening this early. I was, yeah, right. um, I was. Yeah, it was interesting, wasn't it? Because uh, Raf Honningstein came Not on, our German it. football expert, said, look, he wants the Bayern Munich job. And we know that that is up for grabs at, at the end of the season. So I don't know. But, I mean, what do you think, Darren? Who, who would be the right fit for that job? Um, I mean, I can un- fully understand why Nagelsmann wants Bayern Munich over Spurs. 100%, I could totally understand that. Yeah. Um, Brendan Rodgers at Leicester, I mean, listen, he's a fantastic manager, but I, I was looking at this before, and you look at the squads, I think Leicester have got a better squad, if I'm honest, than, than Spurs. Yeah, they've probably got the best player in terms of Harry Kane. Uh, Son's a very, very good player, but other than that, goalkeeper, you'd have to say maybe could go either way. Defensively, Leicester are better. The three in the middle of the park, by the way, what, Tillemans, Madison and, and Ndidi. I think that that is top, top draw. So I can't see Brendan Rodgers leaving there. So you start looking around, what, what, who else is there? And, and also as well, it's it's who's going to appease the Spurs fans because that, that's a difficulty as well because we know how much they love Pochettino. But it's going to have to be someone from that type of ilk, someone who plays that kind of free flow and attacking football because mm. you always hear it the Spurs way. Um, Jose Mourinho certainly wasn't that, but he was brought in to win trophies. And on the, the, the cusp of them potentially winning one, they get rid of him. So it's got to be someone who plays that free flying football. And the only one I could think of is Rodgers, but I don't think Rodgers leaves Leicester to go to Spurs. Ali, Julian right. Nagelsmann, I, I understand he's a perfect fit because it's not just yeah. his football, it's his personality as well. Um, but I feel like, yeah, wh- where are you going to... Who are you going to put the next Spurs job? You're in, you're in charge. If I'm in charge, mm-hmm. I'd go for the two... That t- well, and now going, I'm, I'm rolling him out because of what, what, the discussion we had with Arthur this morning, mm. who clearly, and it's understandable, Hansi Flick is, is, is putting his... Um, resignation. Resignation, if you like. And, and, and that would seem a natural um, movement for, for Nagelsmann to go there. Um, clearly, I didn't know he was a Munich fan. I lived near Munich and all that kind of stuff. So that would make sense. Um, from Spurs' point of view... Brendan Rodgers would be absolutely ideal. I really think he'd be. But there's part of me, Darren, I don't know why. I don't have any <laughs> a, a affiliation to Leicester or Spurs or anybody. I don't want him to take it because I'm, I'm really enjoying the job that he's doing at me Leicester. Too. I think they've got a better squad, Ali. I really I, do. I, I couldn't disagree with you, mate. I really couldn't disagree with you. Here's one for you. Would you break the bank? Or not even break the bank. Would you go and get Bielsa if you're Spurs? Yeah, but again, I, do you know what? Again, I don't think Bielsa would leave Leeds yeah. to go to Spurs. Two, because two it's managers, like an unfinished job. Two managers there, I think, when you talk about Brendan Rodgers and, and Marcelo Bielsa, who I don't think I'm naive in saying this, and I'm prepared to, if this comes back to bite me on the bum, then fair enough. But I do feel like there are two managers in particular in the league with a lot of love for the clubs that they're in and the project Absolutely. that they're involved mm. in. Especially yeah. when, when Brendan Rodgers talks about the project and uh, what he's trying to do with the the I suppose the mindset of those players behind the scenes and what they're building just got a brand new training ground yeah. um, you know eyes on Champions League football that sort of stuff I don't know if it would be the right time well for him would to you I, I'm with you 100% because you know I love the work Brendan does and uh, equally I abso- I'm loving Bielsa's leads absolutely loving so yeah. from that point of view I would actually I would hate to see them leave leave those clubs but I'm just trying to put myself you know, and, and, and Daniel Levy's shoes or in Tottenham shoes, what am I going to do to, to get the, the best man for the job and somebody that's going to appease the fans? Do you know what, as well, Ali, as well? The, the, obviously, with this announcement with the European, obviously, Super League, mate, that maybe there's potentially not that many managers that they can attract because yeah. you've seen the backlash of what's happened Good point. In, in terms of football fans across Good the globe point. for every club not happy with this European Super League. If you're a manager now at a Leicester or at Leeds, for instance, are you really going to want to leave where you are to go into this kind of firestorm? Because I know I wouldn't. No. Question. If Marcelo Bielsa was able to turn the majority of that team, which are championship players still, into Premier League players... What could he do at a club like that? Exactly. What could he do with a club like Spurs? Oh, man. I know. It's an awesome thought. But, but I'll stand by what I say. I, I don't want to take it because I'm, I'm just, I can't get enough of Leeds, you know. I just cannot get enough of Leeds. Do you know what though? Like s- saying this, and I, I know he's maybe not quite ready. And he probably wouldn't want it, but like Ryan Mason will do a good job. Like yeah. I know Ryan really well. Like he's motivated, he's driven. 
obviously every time he's gone into a meeting with, with managers obviously talking about what he wants to do in the future they've yep. been impressed by him and also as well he won't be overawed by the way in terms of some of the characters in that dress room like the Harry Canes well they know him as well they, they know him and yeah. he's an international he's paid for England mm. so there's no reason why he can't go in there and, and command the respect of the dress room and do a good job by the way so I wouldn't mm. rule that one out either it will be different, won't it? Because that club, Spurs and those players, will have gone from having a manager like Jose Mourinho, who is a, a manager, you mm. know, and now Ryan Mason taking charge, who was a former teammate to a lot of them, mm. similar age to a lot of them as well. He's yeah. only 29 um, and a completely different personality. Really yeah. lovely guy. I'm not saying Jose isn't a, well, a lovely, personable <clears throat> guy, but it'll be different, won't it? Where are Spurs right now, then, in, in terms of... Um, I ask you to... In terms of the... the their priority right now, right? They, we're talking about not making, a, you know, knee-jerk reactions in terms of the reaction to to the, the the Super League. I think Spurs will probably want to take their time and 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 getting this manager right, Bente. But yeah. at the same time, you know, they can't give up on the hope of Champions League. Although you've got to say it's it's getting a distant hope by the week. But I'm looking at it just now. What are they? I think five points off West Ham in fourth place. So you've got to be honest and say they've still got a, a chance, albeit a, a, a slimmer one, of qualifying for the Champions League. But at the same time, they you know they can't just appoint somebody, you know, without giving it massive, massive because they've got to get this one right. If they never get the last one right, they have to get this one right. And many times are we going to keep saying it? But Spurs, yeah. darling, I mean, I, you know, you guys, you guys know, was it one, one, one cup in, I don't know how many years, 2007, 2008, whatever it was. Yeah. I mean, dear me, come on. It must be, and it is on the outside, the most bizarre time to be looking for a new manager, not just because the cup competition this weekend, the final the Carabao Cup, but also because we don't know what it means next season. We don't know what any of these competitions mean for Spurs next season. They said it last night, Leeds versus Liverpool meant everything and nothing because it is a race for the Champions League spot for Liverpool. Yep. But then it also could not be a race for anything because it doesn't mean anything. Um, we've had a text from an avid listener called Jamie O'Hara. Mm. Uh, he says, Darren Ben and Ali saying that Leicester have a better squad than Spurs. Drop me out, a bunch of numpties. Kane, Son, Bale, Ali, Hoiberg, Regulon, all get in Leicester's side. I'll tell you right now, Bale does not get in Leicester's side right now. Way, Ali's there's, not... there's two of them not even get in the Spurs team. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> get him on here, get him on the phone. There's two of them not getting in the Spurs team, never mind anything else. Hoiberg's better than Indeedy, not a chance. Regulon, like, I like Regulon, I think he's good. Bale, obviously, by name, he'll get in right now. Obviously, his performance haven't been great. And Dele Alli's not even playing either. No. He's not, and James Madison's been better than him this season as well. So, <laughs> Kane's Kane and Son, I'd go, OK, fair enough. Yep. But that's it. We've also had a message here from Dave Williams, who is a massive, massive Leeds fan. A uh, friend on the show as well. He says, stop this, <laughs> stop Sorry, this Bielsa Dave. to Spurs. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Dave, I'm not. <laughs> he says, those lot don't deserve a manager as good as Bielsa or a man as good as Bielsa. Um, sounding like every Leeds fan on the text <laughs> yeah, this morning absolutely. as well. 